say the U.S. economy be the U.S. economy may be on the verge of a slowdown as investors closely monitor quarterly report cards from big names, including Facebook and Apple. We bring in Lou Bassanis, the founder and chief analyst of Disruptive Tech Research, Jonas Ferris, co-founder of MaxFunds.com and a Fox Business contributor, and Melissa Armo, the founder of Stocks Swoosh. Good to see all three of you this morning. Jonas, I want to begin with you. Uh, the Wall Street Journal did a survey, and they find that this time next year, GDP growth will slow to 2.3%. We just got a read of 3.5%. Do you buy what the journal is predicting? Uh, that's, again, a survey, and 2.3 is not that bad. I think there's some fears that there'll be a recession by late next year, so this would be perfectly fine, and that a slowdown like that is not why interest rates are going higher. It's not why people are selling tech stocks, that's for sure. Uh, I think there's general feel, fears about the market that exceed what that is, but there is definitely a sensation that this many years into an expansion, this hot a stock market this many years, it's eventually going to end. It's no one's fault. That's what's going to happen at some point. Melissa, do you think the market is already pricing in the thought that we could have the start of a recession next year? No, I don't think that at all. The market yeah. based out for a good, better part of this year, and that, to me, the one I look at it, technically speaking, is a rest period, a rest period to break out higher. And in fact, we did do that. We broke out and made brand new all-time highs right after that rest period in August in the Dow, and we almost hit 27,000, which is a big number. So I see the end of 2018, my projections is that we close strong by the end of this year, and we'll see how we act in 2019 and 2020 going into the election. However, that being said, I, it really depends a lot on quarterly earnings. We're getting into a critical week here for the market. Mm -hmm. Facebook reports, Apple reports, and I do think the market could recover from the sell-off it's had in the last two weeks if we get some good news out in these reports by the end of this week, by Friday. We could have a strong rally in the market by the end of this week. I want you to keep talking, Melissa, because as you're speaking, the S&P just went from negative to positive, looking at futures, and the Dow is down only 11 right now. Uh, Lou, what do you make of uh, Facebook's impending earnings report? What do you expect from them? Listen, we are in desperate need of a tech savior, and Facebook's not it. I think the last time we talked, Facebook's been in the penalty box. I mean, they are still repenting for their sins of the past, for, for violating user privacy and data. Uh, I just, you know, I think the, what's baked into the share price right now is a disappointing report. Profits are supposed to be down about 9%. Uh, if it's lower than that, look out below. We're going to be praying for Thursday to get here and Apple to save us because if Facebook can't do it, Apple's going to have to. Oh, and Jonas, do you expect Apple to save tech? And I also wanted, Jonas, to get your opinion of the Wall Street Journal report this morning that billions of dollars in fines from Asia and Latin America, I shouldn't say fines, I'm sorry, taxes, can come on uh, these big tech giants because they would look to, um, to tax their revenue instead of their profits. The global, on the first question, the global tax and regulatory changes happening to tech stocks is one of the reasons they're not doing well right now. They, they've gotten kind of an easy ride for several decades, both regulatory and in taxes, the way they get to shift earnings around. Those glory days are coming to an end very quickly. As far as what's going to save us, we've had a lot of great earnings reports so far this quarter. It's not saving the slide. Investors are scared that the end is here. and. It's going to take more than just one tech company's good earnings. I would expect Instagram to look to look good. Facebook, part of it, not so good. Apple, they can sell expensive phones in the few days that they had of the new phone. It'll help, but it's not going to turn around this slide in tech stocks. It would take more than that, a real shift in confidence. Melissa, do you think these worries uh, that are impacting stocks are spilling over into other asset classes like commodities, like currencies? Oh, no, not necessarily. I mean, it, it, the tech stocks have always been in their own separate bucket. And earlier this year, I said Facebook is even in its own different bucket now because I really don't look at that when I look at Apple, Google, and Amazon anymore because the stock now on Facebook is in a downtrend. These other stocks are, are in an uptrend. So when you look at what's happening in the overall world and you look at the U.S. dollar, the U.S. dollar is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And I just think we're a long way off from a recession. I know interest rates are rising, but part of that is because the economy is so strong and there's just no reason to think that the economy is all of a sudden going to be strong and then not be strong. Yeah. We have had good earnings, like Jonas said, and even though some stocks have reacted not as positive as we would have liked in the earnings, based on as far as the stock trading, right. they still have reported well. I, th I truly believe that Apple is the one to watch this week, and here's why. Apple is the strongest stock right now in the market. Apple is 
barely off the highs. Even right now, you're seeing this morning, it's up in the pre-market, 218. Previous high in Apple was 233. And the market is nowhere near the highs right now. And Apple is close to the highs. Apple is the strongest stock in the market. And if they report well, it's a buy. Yeah, but the, everything going on with China. As we wrap this up, I know, Lou, you have the final words, Lou. What, what do you make of Apple? I'm oh, sorry. Look, I think sentiment soured. We need to see some risky behavior. I'm looking at the Russell Small Cap Index and the NASDAQ Biotech Index to see that, that sentiment change. And if investors are coming back in, there's some companies uh, in the small cap space that are reporting earnings as well. And, and I think that has the possibility to turn things around along with Apple and a good report and higher AS, ASPs for the iPhones. Lou, Jonas, Melissa, thank you. Thank right. you. All right. Well.